Hetman is a political title, historically assigned to military commanders. It was the title of the second highest military commander in 15th to 18th century Poland and the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, which together, from 1569 to 1795, comprised the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, or Rich Pospolita. For much of the history of the Principality of Moldavia, the Hetman was the second in rank in the army after the ruling prince. Hetman was also the highest military office in Ukraine's Hetmanates, the Zaforizhi and host an Ukrainian state. The title was used by Ukraine's Cossacks from the 16th century, and by the Czechs in Bohemia from the Hussite Wars on. Hetman is today the term for the elected governor of a Czech region. Etymology One theory derives the word from the Old High German Hauptmann, with Haupt meaning head, and man, man. Hauptmann was a common military title during medieval times, literally meaning captain, but functionally corresponding rather to today's general. Moreover, it has been suggested that the Czech language may have served as an intermediary. Hetman of Poland and Lithuania. The first Polish title of Grand Crown Hetman dates from 1505. The title of Hetman was given to the leader of the Polish army and until 1581 the Hetman position existed only during specific campaigns and wars. After that, it became a permanent title, as were all the titles in the Kingdom of Poland and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. At any given time the Commonwealth had four hetmans, the Great and Field Hetman for each of both Poland and Lithuania. From 1585 the title couldn't be taken away without a proven charge of treachery, thus most hetmans served for life as illustrated by the case of Jan Karol Chodkowicz literally commanding the army from his deathbed. Hetmans were not paid for their job by the royal treasury. Hetmans were the main commanders of the military forces, second only to the monarch in the army's chain of command. The fact that they could not be removed by the monarch made them very independent, and thus often able to pursue independent policies. This system worked well when a hetman had great ability and the monarch was weak, but sometimes produced disastrous results in the opposite case, as illustrated by the actions of Mikolai Potocki in 1648. The contrast with states bordering the Commonwealth, where sovereigns could dismiss their army commanders at any time, was immense. In 1648, the Zafor and host elected a hetman of their own igniting the Ukrainian struggle for independence. The military reform of 1776 limited the powers of the hetmans. The hetman office was abolished after the Third Partition of Poland in 1795. Hetman Jan Karol Chodkowicz of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Painting by Barcharelli. Hetman Stefan Zarniski. Painting by Leon Kaplinsky, Hetmans of Zaporozhye and Host. At the end of the 16th century, the commanders of the Zaporozhye and Cossacks were called Koshevya Otaman or Hetmans. In 1572, the Hetman was a commander of the registered Cossack army of the Rich Pospolita II. From 1648, the start of Bodan Kamenitsky's uprising, a Hetman was the head of the whole Ukrainian state, Hetmans China. Although they were elected, Ukrainian Hetmans had very broad powers and acted as heads of the Cossack state, their supreme military commanders, and top legislators. After the split of Ukraine along the Dnieper River by the 1667 Polish-Russian Treaty of Andrusovo, Ukrainian Cossacks became known as left-bank Cossacks and right-bank Cossacks. In the Russian Empire, the office of Cossack Hetman was abolished by Catherine II of Russia in 1764. The last Hetman of the Zaporozhian army was Kirill Rozumovsky who reigned from 1751 until 1764. The title was revived in Ukraine during the revolution of 1917 to 1920. In early 1918, a conservative German supported coup overthrew the radical socialist Ukrainian Central Rada and its Ukrainian People's Republic, establishing Hetmanate, or a monarchy headed by Pavlo Skoropadsky who claimed the title Hetman of Ukraine. 
this regime lasted until late 1918 when it was overthrown by a new directory of the re-established Ukrainian People's Republic.